the sheriff's cell number? A couple minutes ago, I think. No, I don't, Randy. I don't know if you're call. The dispatch lobby. So you don't have the sheriff's number? No, I do not, Randy. We're trying to tell her that it's Don't ever run for office, by the way. Because if you do it, someone like this guy will call you in to see you. All right, Randy, I got to read this form I'll log to you. Under Wisconsin's implied consent law, I'm required to read this notice to you. You've either been arrested for defense that involves driving or operating a motor vehicle while under the influence of alcohol or drugs or both, or you're suspected of driving or being on duty time with respect to commercial motor vehicle after consuming an intoxicating beverage. All right, this is the updated form. Under Wisconsin implied consent law, I'm required to read this notice to you. You've either been arrested for defense that involves driving or operating motor vehicle while under the influence of alcohol or drugs or both, or are you the operator of a vehicle that was involved in an accident that caused a death of great bodily harm to or substantial bodily harm to a person, or you're suspected of driving or being on duty time with respect to a commercial motor vehicle after consuming intoxicating beverages. This law enforcement agency now to test one or more samples of your breath, blood, or urine to determine the concentration of alcohol or drugs in your system. If any test shows more alcohol in your system than a law permits while driving, your operating privilege will be suspended. If you refuse to take any test this agency requests, your operating privilege will be revoked and you will be subject to other penalties. The test results or the fact that you have refused testing can be used against you in court. If you take all the requested tests, you may choose to take further tests. You may take the alternative test this law enforcement agency provides free of charge. You also may have a test conducted by a qualified person of your choice at your expense. You will ever have to make no arrangements for that test. If you have a commercial driver's license or are operating a commercial motor vehicle, other consequences may result from a positive test result or from refusing testing such as being placed on a service or disqualified. In addition, your operating privileges will also be suspended if a detectable amount of a restricted controlled substance in, in your blood. Will you submit to an evidentiary chemical test of your breath, yes or no? No. Will you put down there you didn't see me? I wasn't driving. You never saw me driving. Randy, I will absolutely put you that in my report. You don't know I was driving. I didn't do anything illegal. I'm driving. going off of my witness statements that they saw you get out of the vehicle and you were the driver of the vehicle. They told me it was the devil earlier, too. I'm not that. So if I just want to accuse someone, I can just call and accuse them? You know the tasers that need to be locked up before entering the jail? I was the one that raised all the money for those. For you all. Okay, I got some more paperwork here. All right. Before I ask you any more questions, you must understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you need to say can will be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before questioning. You have a lawyer with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer and you want one, a lawyer will be appointed for you without charge prior to any questioning. If you decide to start answering questions at this time, you can stop at any time during the questioning. Waiver of rights, I have read or have read to me the above state my rights. I understand what my rights are. I'm willing to answer questions at this time. Randy, do you want to answer any more questions? No. Randy, what's your current address on? It's uh, N6429 Danny Lane. Just make sure you update it with the DMV. And yeah, I, have to, I, have to new, I have to go get my new. I believe that statute said 10 days within moving. Okay.
you can run them or just whenever you get to yep, the of the year. No it's three seven is the zip. Do you have insurance on the vehicle? Sure. Who's it through? Uh, uh, Landmark Automotive Group. Do you have a card? I doubt it, but keep one in the vehicle. I don't think I know it does. I, I just passed that. 